Welcome everyone to another episode of the Adeptus Ridiculous Podcast. My name is DK Diamantes, my co-host is Bricky, and usually we tell you about all the crazy, wacky things in Warhammer 40k, but today, a little bit different, a little bit special. We'll get into that in just a second, but before we do, if you enjoy today's episode, head over to the Patreon and consider supporting your favorite Warhammer 40k podcast at patreon.com slash Adeptus Ridiculous, where you can get access to the Discord, bloopers if they happen, uh, some really fancy posters that are all sold out of a certain space wolf furry big boobed lady huh patreon.com slash adeptus ridiculous how about that poster bricky huh no way that's gonna sell oh let's make 200 of them oh any spare ones you'll have to wallpaper your room with hey bricky what's the wallpaper in my room gonna look like uh, you, you done are you done you done <laughs> you done with your tangent huh yeah yeah maybe we sold all 200 of the furry posters in under 12 hours. It might mm. have happened. And mm. maybe, maybe I'm having a self-absorbed, difficult existential crisis where I try to decide, do I want to make more degenerate shit to make more money? I like I it. don't I, know. I, I think you should. I think you should. I, I don't get the choice. I don't make these decisions. These are Shy's decisions. She makes these posters. Oh, that's right. Shy does make these posters, so we'll see what Shy has in store for us. Also, yes, the digital version of the poster is available forever if you are a patron. Um, yeah. We just sell the physical ones for if you want the physical. Uh, so for Book Club, we just finished Bloodlines. You can check out the episode. just came out a couple days ago. Uh, we are also going to be reading Belisarius Call the Great Work next for the Book Club. So check that one out when you get the opportunity. It'll be like a month, so you got some time, but that's the yeah, next yeah, one. Yeah. And also, last but not least, Black Friday has the sale still going on. It is until the end of the year. Buy two things, get 20% off your whole order. Make sure they're both in your cart, just so you, that's self-explanatory, but you know, mm -hmm. have two or more items in your cart. Get 20% off your whole order to the end of the year. And if you haven't already seen we have like 15 of our old posters before we started selling them, and they're all available until the end of the year. Check it out. It is, uh, it is a lot. DK. Yes, sir. You said today was a special episode. What did you mean by that statement? Do you still stand it's, by it? What I were do. your thoughts when you said those bad words 10 years ago on Twitter? It's our anniversary. It's the anniversary of Adeptus Ridiculous. We've made it. Two whole years. Somehow. And we're still alive! We're still alive! People still care what we're doing. Amazing. How about Shocking. that? Shocking. Shocking. Utterly shocked. I am befuddled. Consider me fuddled. Absolutely fuddled supreme. Yeah. Supremely fuddled with the supreme sticker. Mm-hmm. You, you put the you put like the, the red sticker on the yeah. on the thing. It's just like fuddled. Fuddled. Supreme fuddled. Mm. So anyway, uh, with like our last one, we did a Q&A for our one year anniversary. So Shy has went and grabbed a, a good a good slew, maybe around 20 or 25 questions that was asked by our Discord members who are also our Patreon members, hence the Discord. And we are going to go through these, probably alternating reading questions between the two of us. Um, oh but first <laughs> things first, do you want to do the shout outs or do you want me to? Yeah, we can do some shout outs. All right. Give, shout outs. Give some uh give some shout outs to to the the five six important lines of text we have here. Okay. Obviously we have to give thanks to the Patreons. Shout out to all of our amazing patrons who uh just at whenever we put up a goal, y'all absolutely kill it. Uh y'all are very dedicated. We appreciate you so much and uh thank you for supporting your favorite Warhammer 40k podcast. Uh, obviously, we got to thank Ted Zero, who does all of our absolutely stunning thumbnail art. And he pushes those out regularly, all the time. Probably doesn't get as much credit as he deserves. So, Ted, thank you for all the amazing uh, thumbnail art. And uh, got to thank Halliday. Uh, oh, got to thank Halliday. Got to thank Hallis Day. Uh, they do all of our amazing uh, posters, all of the Black Friday posters. Hallis Day does those. Amazing. 
Uh, we also need to thank, uh, is it Carolina or Carolina? Sweet Caroline. Ba, 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 ba. Ba. <laughs> I think it's Carolina. Carolina, who created our Scola comic. Ah, the one that was yes. on Patreon. I think it's free to everybody now. I think anybody can can see that. Um, but that's such a great comic. It's hilarious, immaculate artwork. Uh, so thank you so much for that. Uh, we also need to thank Sin Victa and his uh, musical group for creating the intro music, not only for Adeptus Ridiculous, but also Detective Ridiculous. So Sin Victa, huge, huge shout out for the amazing intro, uh, intros. And uh, we also need to thank Noddle for creating the logos for both Adeptus Ridiculous and Detective Ridiculous. Also does yeah. the animations, so when you see those, that's that's also Noddle. Those are oh, sweet. Pretty good stuff. Pretty mm -hmm. good stuff. So, uh, a huge thanks to to each and every one of them. Uh, they will, if we can, if Shy remembers, uh, to put all of their associated Twitters or channels in the description of this video. Uh, mm -hmm. Go ahead and show them support as they have been supporting us. Very, very nicely. Yeah. Very uh, um, mm, amazing. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, we can begin with the questions now. Uh, I guess I'll start first, and then we'll we'll, we'll uh, bounce and bounce. Um, starting off, the first question is by CNG Solo that asked, "Who was the one with the idea to start the podcast?" This gets asked a, a decent amount of times, and <laughs> yeah. I feel like a lot of people think it's me, um, but it is not. That is all Shy's baby. Yep, this is completely Shy's brainchild. Uh, she's liked 40k for a long time. She used to do uh, 40k mini paintings on her old solo uh, Twitch channel, and uh, yeah, this is she just wanted to do something 40k related to sort of get out of the Warframe burn. I assume uh, she asked me if I wanted to do it, and I was like, yeah, sure. I why not? Sounds yeah, cool. Uh, I I made that video of like um, every faction explained that just popped the fuck off. <laughs> and uh, so I thought that's originally why a lot of people think I had the idea. But no, Shy was like, hey, here's this guy who's really into Warhammer. And she streamed with you all the time. And basically, mm -hmm. and you knew nothing about it. And so I was like, hey, so, is, the gears started turning a little bit, you know? Yep. This is all Shy's brainchild. It's pretty, pretty neato. Yeah, but it's, it's, <laughs> I'd say it's a little more than neato. It's gotten quite based, as the kids say. Ah, yes, yes, no cap. Very based. For real. Mm. Uh, Zoe3 asks, if you could choose the next new story event to happen in the lore, what would you like to see happen? Yeah, Cr Ricky, what would you like to see happen? Crazy next. idea. I would love some tenuous alliance between, the, uh, uh, between Gilliman and the Silent King. Ooh. It sounds weird, but I feel like those two are are f uh, well enough in their brain to not to not immediately go at each other's throats. Like if, if there was going to be a meeting, it would be with the the not um, zealous, insane religious guy of the Imperium, which would be Gilliman. Oh yeah, and definitely. the king, and be like, "Hey, we got a problem." And it's like, there's these fucking nid things. And like, I don't know. I can see a very light, tenuous alliance. Very okay. minimal. Okay, okay. Necron and Humi alliance. That, that, okay. Just for like, just for like a book or two. Like a, like a very light start. Kind of like the Yvrain thing. You know, just, just a little okay. bit. A little bit, a little bit. I, I wouldn't mind seeing Fulgrim come back. Uh, eventually he'll come back. But sooner rather than later, I, you know. Snake Boy Mini and everything, sure. Ful Fulgrim returning, it, yeah. Fulgrim returning is a pretty good option, I'd say. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Yeah, mm. yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Steel Legionnaire Sergeant Doc says, "What's a non-playable force in the galaxy that you wish was avail an available army with more lore and models?" Um, what was that one alien group that had the, uh, they were all maggot people? The sloth. 
yes, I want the sloth. Ah, uh, yeah, not not the not the Harad, the the time warping ones. Prud are a close second, but I want those gross, nasty sloth. Ooh, okay, that's that's a pretty all right one. Uh, mm -hmm. I would go with the dark mechanicus. Oh, why didn't that, I think of that? Oh my god, that's the choice. Uh, a, a solid, a solid chaos mechanicus would be pretty up there for me. Mm, that is, that is a base choice. I'll give you they, that. Why? Thank you. Mm. Uh, obsessive converter. You guys should test how much DK has retained through this year by doing a trivia on shit he's already learned. Oh boy, that's uh, with, a great idea. With the amount of shit I forget on the rego boy i would score low on that uh <laughs> it, it would be amusing but i i tell you this now i would fail that test like it was high school yeah but like you also have a very selective memory we were we were talking about bloodlines and you didn't even like the book as much and you were naming all the characters i forgot that's true somehow those names just stick around you know Adier, mm. Tereshova, Udmil. Yeah, you just have like a selective memory. I don't know. Yeah, I I yeah. think that it's uh you could do okay. I only remember what I want to remember. Uh, half American Bonehead. Any chance for more all guards and parties, sober or otherwise? Ooh. Is that a tap the sign moment? I I would assume that's a tap the sign moment. I feel like we'll probably eventually get back to that. Maybe, possibly, sure. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I I see no reason why not to. It's a fun little thing. It's just a bit of a, uh, I think it's maybe finding the time because between our occasional uh, like YouTube streams, combine that with our um, uh, with like book club, with Detective Ridiculous, with the major episodes, mm -hmm. there's a lot going on. So I can see no uh, no reason why not. Yeah, sure. Yeah, just yeah. if we can find a good time for it, sure. Maybe we can turn that into a stream. Oh, maybe. Anyway, uh, Molodoy Yaga, how do you guys take your coffee? Hmm, usually I just go for a little bit of almond milk, a little bit of honey, and maybe if, if the place that's giving it to me has like a, a, a sugar-free vanilla syrup, I'll usually put that in too. I'm not high on drinking my calories, so I try to keep like the sugar and the calories on my drinks very low. Cold brew, black. Wow, really? Just black cold brew, huh? I go, I go to my local shop. I get, I get. Hey, it's like, hey, do you guys have cold brew? I'm like, yes. This, all right, cool. I'll take medium size. And he's like, you want room? No. Any milk? <laughs> no. Just give it. Just, I'll just take it black. And that's. I, I'm literally drinking wow. that right, right now. Let me, let me, let me get a good. Hmm. <sighs> All right, damn! I, I I would not have taken you for just black coffee type of guy. Uh, it's it's my vice. I I like I don't I'm always stuck in the house due to work, obviously. So I like to leave the house. So I do have like a a, a morning ritual where I will leave in my pajamas to go get coffee. <laughs> I honestly I would have taken you for lots of cream, lots of sugar. Like the wolf in, in Pulp Fiction. Exactly like uh, the wolf in Pulp Fiction, yeah. Shy, so how do you take your coffee? So pre, please, with sugar on top. Clean the fucking car. <laughs> Clean the fucking car. <laughs> oh, she does lattes. So you're like my mom. My mom loves a latte. She hates it black. Lattes are pretty good. So you want some coffee with your milk? <laughs> exactly. You want like an adult milkshake, basically. Oh, that's not true. That's like a frappuccino. Uh, true, though I do love me, I used to, in college, I used to down green tea frappuccinos uh, from oh. Starbucks. Oh, oh I, I hate Just I a milkshake. Hate, I hated those. I, really? I, I did. I was a Java chip person. I don't, what the fuck is a Java chip? Mint chocolate. Oh, I, hey, that's not a bad choice, though. Love me no, some it's mint not. chocolate ice cream and mint chocolate anything, so not not a bad choice. I will admit, like matcha frappuccinos, the ones with like like the good amount of whip in there and stuff. Ma matcha hits hits pretty hard at the right time. Mm -hmm. I I didn't I I always got it no whip. I didn't I don't like um I don't like uh, whipped cream with my coffee or my smoothies and stuff. I don't 
Oh, dude. What, uh, I mean, true, but uh, when I go to, like, Costco and I get those giant pumpkin pies, it's always, like, one part pumpkin pie, two part whipped cream. <laughs> All anyway, right. anyway, we, we could be on this for a while. The yeah. Fateless asks, looking back, are there any topics or videos that you wish you'd have covered differently? What would you pick and why? Also, would you ever go back and do an updated 2.0 version on a previous video? Kind of like how you expanded on the Votan lore. Hmm. Videos would have done... Di I mean, I guess, I guess that would be the answer. Because, like, there are definitely episodes that are not as good as others. There are definitely highlight episodes compared to others. Um, but I could absolutely like redo the Krieg one, you know. It's the oh, first the, one the we first did. The first one know? we did, yeah. And when and we Krieg still, lore is like, not as familiar with each other. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Krieg lore has been like updated a bit too, as well. Um, oh, sure, sure. There's there's a lot of back and forth in between kind of stuff with all that things. But uh, I mean, yeah, like we did a Chaos Demon revitalization recently when I bought the Codex. And I have, like, the, the new guard codex that just came out, and I'd like to skim through that and talk a bit more about guard, you know? Mm -hmm. So what you're saying is that we should expect a new Krieg video soon. I don't know about that, but maybe a new guard video. That's been confirmed, chat. Everybody <sighs> everybody listening, it's been confirmed. New Krieg video uh, happening next year. Mm -hmm. All right, read the next one. Banzai Kuwait query... Will there be more gameplay videos of games on the channel in the future, such as, but not limited to, Dark Tide, Left 4 Dead, etc.? Maybe. Never say never. Maybe, yeah. I mean, I, we're not putting up regular Dark Tide videos. I mean, we had the one where we played the beta, and then we played the release with Pat, but, uh, yeah, I mean, probably. I, I, I had the idea of, like, Dark Tide becoming our new interview like game where the three of us hop into dark tide and we drag Ooh. along some random uh other person we want to chat with like someone from a different channel and that's mm -hmm. the way you go ahead and do the discussion and because i feel like if we just bring them on for an episode it's always a bit it's a little awkward because they're just kind of yeah. there sitting there and not knowing what to say yeah and, and, and they would... don't know when to jump in because like i mean they're not here for the usual flow and maybe they don't maybe they're not proficient on the topic and it's just kind of yeah sometimes it gets awkward and weird to have a guest on that's just kind of sitting there while you teach me about lore and it's just yeah yeah not not to mention like if you're playing dark tide there can be plenty of opportunities they're like hey why is the medical guy look like a dude and we'll be like well <laughs> cuz he you about, was let's teach you about servitors <laughs> you don't want to be a servitor but uh, but absolutely i would be super down for more gameplay videos like that sure um, i like video games we played left for dead on my stream sometimes dk and it's quite the blast Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I played a few yeah. rounds of Left 4 Dead with you. It is it is quite comical. Uh next question by Dark Angels Lieutenant Thesp, open brackets, he slash him, close brackets. Or is that okay. parentheses, not brackets? I don't know. Uh, I don't pro but yeah, whatever. Who cares? I don't I don't code. Now that you've been doing the podcast for two years, what have been the biggest challenges, be that with hosting, the production side of things, or any other big challenges you faced along the way? Hmm. I got to mm. tell you, there are no challenges for me. Uh, this is a dream gig where I just show up and be an idiot. Uh, so, I mean, yeah, this is, for me, this is like a dream gig. Other than waking up kind of sort of early, but not really anything that inconveniences me. Like, I, I, Sh Shy will probably have more answers for this. Oh, yeah. Um, Shy's and I, and I probably also... got a lot. So do you, probably. I also see the one sentence horror story called shy is typing. Um, <laughs> but, but I think for me, it's mainly just how do I take an, an entire topic, condense it in an hour and cover the stuff people want me to cover while also not making it too long because mm. there will be a million opportunities for you forgot to mention X or why didn't you mention X or what yeah. about X? And it's like, the thing was already an hour and change. Like, I can't do all of that. Tr yeah. We try to keep the episodes around an hour every time, and it's just not feasible if you have these many stories you want to talk about. She says, organizing stuff, coordinating with Bricky, what the episode's going to be about, That's communicating the with the thumbnail part. artist. Coordinating with Bricky? Whew. I am perfectly fine. 
<laughs> communicating with the thumbnail artist, communicating with poster artists, editing the videos, plus serving as moderator and community manager at the same time is a bit of work. <laughs> Just a little bit. Yeah, Shy has to do the most, I think, out of all of us, right? What does she say in the second one? Still not as soul-draining as making Warframe videos on the same shit over and over again. Amen, sister. Mm -hmm. Amen. I will admit, I actually do enjoy sometimes the background logistical work. Like, for oh, example, yeah. I, you know, well, I do a lot of that stuff she mentioned for like my own channel. And, um, and I won't lie, sometimes waking up and not having to be on camera or record stuff and just sitting there and doing like logistics and chat and, and communications is can be a bit relaxing. Some not like actually relaxing, but like a bit more acceptable. OK, because all that back end stuff and not having to do it with like Adric is the whole reason that I'm just like, yeah, well, I don't need to do solo creation anymore. Like I don't have to stress and have anxiety about that anymore. I don't have to worry about my numbers because like I don't need this shit. I don't need this stress. I can just chill with Adric and whatever. And yeah, so like I don't really stream or do YouTube anymore because that shit just stressed me the fuck out. Mm -hmm. And this is just, you know, it's a chill time. and I love it. Well, in that case, well, what would uh, well now I'm going to make you do work. Read the next question. Oh shit! Hi, interrogator Columbo. Now that it's been two years, how much have things changed for y'all? Um, the workload has increased by a certain percentage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> are they referring? Are they referring to life or work? Because those are two very different things. We've all kind of increased our our amount of work, but I'd say like what you think maybe like thirty to forty percent, like not nothing like exceptionally large. Yeah, nothing too crazy. I mean, like my my workload is not that tough. Like I have to do one detective ridiculous a month. Ooh, that's difficult. Uh, and then for the rest of them, I I I kind of just show up and and be a goof. We we stream like oh, some, that's like true. we, do the we try to go well, once yeah. a week for a stream, but we we don't always make it. Yeah, um, which is crazy because when we started, we were doing bi-weekly episodes. <laughs> we weren't even doing them every week, and that's now right. we do uh, an episode. Uh, we do a stream every week. Uh, we do a book club. We do a detective ridiculous. Uh, so yeah, you know, there's there's a little bit more. I mean, things have changed a little bit. Um, but yeah, question, I'd say I'd say more more things, but like not insane. Oh, okay. um, <clears throat> next question is from Sergeant. <clears throat> ah! <laughs> Sergeant. When do, you, ah! <laughs> when do you plan on turning Doge Van Dyer into a marketable plushie? <laughs> no, Peta, don't turn me into a marketable plushie. I um, that gets asked a lot, doesn't it? It does. I, I need to find a good plushie making service. Um, mm. The problem is that a lot of them are, well, they can be kind of rip off sometimes. They take a pretty substantial percentage, you know, yeah. and it's like, it's a little rough. So I would like to find a proper, uh, proper plushy thing, but uh, I'm still looking, still looking. Okay. We, we are thinking about it, though. So It, it is definitely on the, the list. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Cylon Spy, this one's for Bricky specifically. Uh, what surprised you most about 40k lore when you started researching for Adeptus Ridiculous? Were there any preconceived notions you had about a faction that just got blown out of the water? Uh, Night, Night, Lords. Lords and, Night Lords and World Leaders, yeah. Basically, <laughs> any, of the, uh, any of the Primarchs that were Chaos, and I just automatically assumed they were edgy assholes... And uh, mm -hmm. was shocked with how much of a good backstory they had. I thought Angron put the nails in his own brain to make him matter because I thought he was just Mr. Madman. But I've realized now that that was not his choice. Nope. Um, oh, I thought had a rough life, man. I thought Kurz was just edgy Batman, and he certainly is, but you know, in, not in the same way that I assumed. Yeah, there's a little more to it. Sure, sure. And and um. And yeah, just a bit more here and there. It really, it really was a lot of the traitor Primarchs that really changed my mind on stuff. Um, right. Also, Necrons got a lot of books around the time we started, and that has changed my perspective on them substantially. Oh yeah, I'm. I'm they, sure. they were cool, but damn, dude. 
Yeah, before they were just like uh, Terminator ripoffs, and then it was like, oh shit, now they're super cool. Space Marines with 500 novels, Necrons with about five, and they're almost all excellent. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, Arkrat asks, what is your guys' credit card information? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. And the numbers on the back are uh, seven, eight, nine. Eight, six, seven, five, three, oh, nine, nine. <laughs> Damn you, Tommy Two Tones! <laughs> Jenny, Jenny. <laughs> Aldrath, if you guys had to make a lore podcast on a different setting, which one would you guys choose? Uh, let's 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 exclude Sigmar because I'm pretty sure that's what the first thought would be because Warhammer. So let's let's say no oh, Sigmar. Yeah. We gotta do something else. I. Oh wait, this is actually easy for me. Never mind. An anime lore podcast. <laughs> let's do that. Yeah, let's do some I... anime lore, huh? Hey, shy when he when he makes that ah uh ha -huh noise, can you can you <laughs> post that picture of the cheems with the glasses I sent earlier? <laughs> Just, In all seriousness, saying. though, I I would be down to actually uh, do Mass Effect lore on, like, a lot oh. of the stuff that... Because uh, a lot of people don't know about... Oh, shit, what was it? It Was it the... Mm, it was that war that got started between the Turians and the humans because the humans were a little First contact too... war. First contact war, exactly, yes. Uh, a lot of people don't know about that. And there's like a bunch of books on it and stuff. It's very interesting. Uh, at one point, I was hoping they'd make a DLC prequel just about the first Contact War. But yeah, ooh, I would love to do a Mass Effect uh, lore thing. I, I love that idea, too. I actually didn't think about Mass Effect. That might be the one. I was going to go with the Frontier <laughs> lore, the lore of Titanfall and Apex combined. Oh, um, that's a solid choice, too, because there's so much of it. Titanfall 1 and 2 has some surprisingly good lore and, and a great aesthetic overall. That's true. Uh, Shy mm. says Fallout universe lore is still good despite Bethesda's efforts to ruin it. That is true, that's, but Fallout that's lore is good. Mm -hmm. uh, King Manatee with the question for DK. Hey. What's the most absurd thing about 40k that you've learned over the last two years? Uh, it's gotta be either the Daemon Kilbasa or the Dark Eldar and all of their... Ugh. Probably Dark Eldar the Daemon Kilbasa, though. That one's pretty up there. The Dark yeah. Eldar episodes are actually some of my, my favorites. I was a little surprised how, how well fleshed out they were with all of, yeah. like, their, their arenas and cabals and, and like, piratey shenanigans. Mm-hmm. I also I find surprised. it absurd that humanity is willing to sacrifice a thousand psychers a day uh, to keep the uh, Emperor alive. That is a lot of people to sacrifice over tens of thousands of years. That is a lot of people. Well, though... they don't consider psychers people, but, you know. But, like, is it, though? Because... Every day? Dude, there are a million planets... I mean, that's nope. true. I guess that doesn't even compare to how many guard get lost uh, trying to fight off Xeno scum, right? How many people die a day? How many? In okay, deaths. Oh my god, deaths per day in the US, 8,610. Wow. This is nothing, dude. Hi, well, deaths okay, in, yeah, deaths in see... India are 35,000 deaths a day in India. Oh. Okay, so sure, but that's you take it into account natural causes, uh, you know, uh, accidents, uh, you know, stuff that's out of your good. These are people that are just getting shepherded into death for the emperor every day. It's just like My a line dude. of people that are getting put into a shredder. My dude, 35,000 people in India die a day, and this is Earth. This has the population of one hive city. <laughs> so one. Uh, okay, fine. I, it's Out still ridiculous a that he gets a thousand sacrifices worlds. a day. Okay? I'm just saying. That's my noise for you. As, as a psyker main, I am offended. 
your angry German psyker. I am offended. <laughs> so fucking funny. God damn it. All oh, right. right. I'm I, I'm reading the next one. Aren't yeah, I? read the next one. Dang it. Random man for to oh boy. How many Patreon subs before we get to see Bricky's toes? Oh, easy. 20,000. When we hit 20,000 on the Patreon, uh, you can see my feet plenty. You can get multiple angles. I hate it here. <laughs> I, you chose to be here. And if we I get did. to 20,000 on the Patreon, you get to benefit from it. Two That's true. Zero K. Two zero K, you get the feet. I don't even have to look at them. So, mm-hmm. you know, you just do that on your own. I don't, I don't, whatever. Fuck that. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. A Scoundrel asks, what has been Bricky's favorite army to play on the tabletop in any edition? <sighs> um, I, I'd go with probably 9th edition Sisters of Battle. I, Sisters, I think, still maintain my favorite, um, my favorite faction. I think when it comes to playing, it, it depends on the mood I'm in, but Sisters are, are just an overall favorite. Night Lords, I think, are like my middle ground favorite, where I still want to be kind of competitive. But also, like, I love my Night Lords. And then if I want to have a, just a really fun time, and I don't really care if I win or lose, I play Guard. Now, I I obviously don't have an opinion because I don't play the tabletop. True. So, but, uh, yeah. I like I like my... I like all three. The Guard right now are actually really good. Yeah. The, the Lehman Rust battle tank is a little strong. <laughs> This I was considering playing Thousand Suns and, and Tau, but I just never really got around to it. So. I really like fighting Thousand Suns as sisters because they have innate anti-psychic, and it's it's so aggravating for the Thousand Suns player. Oh, yeah. That's got to be very, very annoying since that's all you do as a Thousand Sun. There's there's a rule in the game where, like, let's say we both have little psychers and you cast a spell. You roll two dice, and that's how, like... You need to roll five for it to go off, basically. Um, I can then roll two dice, and if I beat your number, I can just like deny it, like turn it off. Oh, um, deny the what witch. A dick. What the a sister, dick. <laughs> the sisters have no psychers, but they have a special rule where I can roll only one dice. But if I roll a six, it auto denies it no matter what. And there's a special ability I can take that makes it a five or a six. And so oh. 33% of the time, I'm just turning off every spell you do, and it's infuriating. Yeah, I I would be uh, thoroughly enraged. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're up. Uh, Raptor McAwesome. Wow. <laughs> what franchise would you like to see 40K have a crossover with? You know, I I hate to beat a dead horse here, but Mass Effect would sure be a great crossover with uh with 40K. I would not hate that. Yeah. I would not get, hate that. Uh, yeah, you get the Necrons uh having a little thing with the Geth. Uh Krogans and the Orcs would have a good time together. Um, you know, I I I think that'd be a grand old time. Maybe Corians and Tau. Shy says DC multiverse version of Batman doing Batman stuff in a hive city. <laughs> okay, that's that's actually not a bad idea. Batman um, fighting uh fighting the uh, ta- not Talos uh Kurs. Batman versus oh, Batman. Oh god. Batman I I, mu- I must say I think I would probably um I'd probably do I'd probably do Destiny. Um, Ooh. because I'm very biased, but also Destiny has been doing a lot of collabs lately. They did one with Fortnite and Ubisoft, and they added a bunch of Destiny armor based on those games. And I would love Warhammer-based Destiny armor that I could buy in Destiny. I would lose That's my a shit. Great idea. I love the idea of Destiny uh, collaborating with 40K and all be, the crazy aliens that both of them had. To- That's a good idea. Be pretty fun. I like it. I like that. Okay. Um, Pat underscore speed says, is there an episode that you feel like you clicked as a podcast overall? Oh, it's gotta be, I feel like it was that orc episode where you did the, I'm a tank story. Yep. Orcs episode was the one I was thinking too. Oh, even, mm-hmm. even shy, shy said it. Well, we all share a brain cell. <laughs> orcs. Oh no, it's bouncing between all three of us. Let's go. Yep. Yeah. Or orcs is, I think the one where we're, where we all together were like, this is, we could do this. This is something. This is, yeah, we got something here. 
Yeah. Yeah, because the orc one also got us the I'm a tank joke, which also got us the animation that popped off, which really helped our channel. Mm -hmm. I'm actually wearing that hoodie right now. Hey, it's pretty Come good. Come to think of it. Yeah, it's a great hoodie. I love it. It's my favorite. Orchid8.com? Mm. Um, oh, I like this next name. Go ahead. Shadowy the Insane Saint of Cows. Wow. Oh, I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was crows. I filled it in as crows. It's not crows. Oh, it's cows. Cows. Uh, why are Eldar wraiths so sexy, and why are the cows looking weirdly at me? I can't answer your second mm. one. I'd say get out of the farm. Um, Eldar wraiths are so sexy because of the. Uh... Wait, are those the ones that are like the robots with the? Yes. Oh, I thought Eldar race were just like a female warrior, so I was going to say it's the abs. Uh, but you know what? Sure, the robot abs. It's the robot abs, obviously, that make them so sexy. Yeah. That, that is, I, I don't much like the pinball heads. I think some of the wraith, knight, uh, wraith constructs are okay, but you know yeah. how I feel about elves. Elves? No, Bricky, tell us in detail how you feel about Eldari. They're a bunch of shitters. <laughs> the trauma from your previous tabletop days still has not died, huh? Mm-hmm. Uh, Novagen says, question for all the cast. Who do you think is the most likely Primarch to return for Loyalists, and which one would you rather it be? Isn't I think we're, we're, we're all in one? the Lion, right? Yeah, I was about to say, I was pretty sure Lionel Johnson, Dwayne the Lionel Johnson... Uh, was the most likely. Who else needs uh, to return but for for the loyalists? Him, Khan, and oh oh, there's a ton. Him, Khan, uh, Lehman Russ, Rogel Dorn, Korax, Vulcan. There's Ooh. a lot. Korax or Dorn, I think would be my preferred. I've started to really really like Dorn. The more the more we talk about him, and the more I realize he's not actually illiterate, and he's actually super baller and has really cool armor. Kind of hard for me to go against that. Someone asked me which one, which of the uh, prime, of the loyalist primarchs I would gender bend, and Dorn was my first choice. Mm, hit, really? hit me with, hit me with that fucking, that fucking muscle mommy Dorn. <laughs> That's fair. That'd be some serious ab work on Dorn. Uh, Shy says Dorn would be funny because he would not get along with rowboat girly man at all. Oh yeah, they'd be so at odds, wouldn't they? Maybe. They, they would both hate what the Imperium has become, but I think their methods for fixing it would be very different. Yeah. Granted, the, the lion also tried to bomb Gilliman's mom. Not literally, but, you know, like, <laughs> did that shit, and, and then they had that big uh, Conrad Kurz trial problem. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was a bit of a problem, wasn't it? I would like to see either... I think those are all good choices. I would like to see the con return. I think the I mean, Khan is just such a baller that I would love to have him in the game. Also because uh, Loyalists don't really have a centerpiece melee character. Gilliman oh. does do a lot of melee, but he's mainly just this massive buff piece that you surround your army with because he gives them so many powers. Mm -hmm. um, I would love the Khan being like a, a genuine hard melee threat. Yeah, um, if somebody was going to be the hard melee threat, it would be the Khan, for sure. Though, uh, Demonic Bird Korax would be killer. Yeah, that would be really great. Uh, Mr. Joster, uh, what character or faction in 40k do you think needs more attention in terms of books and lore right now? Well, there's uh, a... There, there's a, um, the easy answer is Votan, because they have none. <laughs> yeah, because they just came out. Hmm. Uh, honestly, Torchstar's abs need a lot more attention, I think. I hate your words, but Tau <laughs> is a good choice. <laughs> yes, I'm right! Torchstar's abs need a book all to themselves. Let's go! Let's Tau go! Nids could use more, but the, but... You can't really do books about nids because they're supposed to be like a told from the point of view of the people they're killing vibe. Yeah. So it's a little hard do to do proper could, nids. Yeah. Um, Although maybe... a book from the point of view of someone in the hive mind would be 
it'd be hard to do, but boy, that'd be cool. You would need like a Gene Steeler cult fighting along with the Nids or something. Yeah. Um, I'd. I, I mean, I would never mind more Necron books, you know, because they're so good. Oh, fair. Yeah. Sure. Why not? But uh, I, I would like more Custodes, like dedicated Custodes books. They're always playing like second fiddle in books. They're always like a side character. Yeah. They ex except for like Watcher of the Throne with uh, Valerian and Alea. I would like some more Custodes stuff so they can finally like smooth out their power level. Custodians are either die to a couple Harlequins. Um, laughably overpowered. Or six of them stopped a hive fleet. Like, <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> that actually happens, by the way. Oh my god. Really? Yeah, six of them uh, were able to negate a hive fleet. It's I, I'm a, paraphrasing a bit, but wow. yeah, they, they're it's either custodes are either actually god or very very strong. It's kind of tough to determine. Yeah, I because like, like what was I it? Four four custodes fought like seven word bearer possessed, and they mm. killed like half of them, but then they died. And it's like uh, died, yeah. it could be a little. Sometimes they could be stronger than that. Sometimes not. It's hard. Yeah, it's 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 at they're at the mercy of the writer and how the writer feels the power scaling should be. Pretty much, yeah. It's it's a little tough. Wouldn't mind some more Raven Guard stuff. I don't know how much Raven Guard stuff there is, but I love me big, big fucking jump packs, man. Uh, let's see. Ethanol yeah. muffins. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, what no. Is don't your, eat those. <laughs> what is your favorite universe that isn't Warhammer? Uh, I think the Titanfall universe would be mine. Maybe Mass Effect. It's a tie. <sighs> man, I've... Every what's your favorite other universe, I've said Mass Effect. I need to pick something different. Um, shit. What else am I going to pick? Persona. I like the Persona universe. Yeah. Yeah. J Japanese high school. That's all it is. Well, yeah, but then they got like the, the, the Personas. Persona. Persona. <laughs> Pop himself in the head, big crazy thing comes out, you fight the shadows, you fight your inner self. With Star Trek, I enjoy Star Trek as well. Sure, we'll go with that. That's maybe a little more uh Yeah. I, I, I I'm I'm a bit of a Trekkie, you know. When I was young, I my my mom and my brother were always watching Star Trek, so if I was hanging out with them, I kinda had to watch it. So, you know. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. Thanks, Shy. Thanks for the bailout. Appreciate it. Goddamn. Mm. Anyway, uh, Sev the Warm and Fuzzy Dealer, can we have DK and Bricky meet up and play 40k? Uh, well, DK would need to finish his models, wouldn't he? <laughs> yeah, he would. Yeah, that, that sounds like a great idea. Uh, uh, so what's the next question, Bricky? Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There you go. Charles DeBelt. Will you guys be doing any more artwork contests like you did the Knights? Uh, actually, so. <laughs> yes. Yes, we will, but not right now because holidays and late night and tired. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That was so much. We got so much great, great artwork from that, too. Oh, my God. It was I really good. Well, Aldrin says, you're going to write a book for Black... L oh, wait, I read the last one. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh, uh, well, <laughs> Aldrin, you're going to write a book for the Black Library. What's it about, and who will voice it on Audible? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Well, I mean, I just said I wanted more books on Torchstar's abs and or the Raven Guard and their massive jump packs. So um, I, I, I would probably do a Raven Guard story. You know, I'm not entirely sure what it would be about because i haven't learned jack about the raven guards um but uh maybe maybe is aaron dembski bowden the one we like or is he the author he is the author uh if you're referring sure. to the night lord book reader is that's andrew wincott sure him I, I andrew wincott is my man crush when it comes to voicing stuff so i would probably pick him as well <laughs> um, if I were to do it, I would like to maybe write a Necron book, but if I were doing that, I would hire Mr. Richard Reed. Um, mm -hmm. And if I were to write uh, something that is more British, I'd hire Mr. Wincott. <laughs> something a bit more British? Mm-hmm. The, the Bloodlines book was quite British. 
Mm, yeah, it was. Uh, Shy's typing, so Shy obviously has uh, an answer here. Ah, Shy said, my book would be about orc blood axe who somehow successfully pretends to be a commissar in a human regiment, voiced by Vincent Price. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was... <laughs> I would love it. Honestly, that'd be such a goofy, weird book. I'd, I'd be down. That that is very bizarre, but but yeah, but I I am also very down with it. Mm -hmm. Down with the sickness. Um, next one we have here is Cosmic Courage says, "What's DK's favorite Primarch origin thus far?" Hmm, favorite origin. Angron is way up there, cause boy, what a tragedy. Holy shit, he had a bad life. Um, it's a pretty good choice. Yeah, I think I'd probably say Angron. I think that's that's the go-to. Yeah. Oof, wow. Boy, what a miserable... Uh, that's, that's a Shakespearean tragedy, is what that is. Nothing ends well, everybody dies. <laughs> that's the one way to put it, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. That's... Oh. Um, um, you have the last question. Oh, I thought you were going to do your favorite. Well, I guess they specifically asked me, didn't oh. they? So you don't have Yeah, I, I mean, I mean, yeah, probably uh, Angron. Maybe, maybe, maybe Kurz, you know, you know, I like my Kurz. Yeah, probably Kurz, Kurz got, actually. Kurz got a shit deal, too, landing on the Stromo, but. Yeah. Uh, Trudius, I hope that's how you say that. Who's the number one guest you'd want to bring on the show, but expect you'll never get? Get. Shy has in quotations Henry Cavill, obviously. Oh, um, yeah. we would never get, but oh, that'd be so cool. I, I I must say I'm not on the Henry Cavill train. Um, I okay. I think I I think people have like oh wow actual celebrity likes nerd thing, and they all just start frothing at the fucking mouth about it. Not shy. <laughs> uh, I I totally understand why it'd be it'd be great to have that guest like. Yeah, that'd be awesome. That's a huge boon for for us for everything. But there are a, a lot of other Warhammer fans and a couple content creators who just who just slobber on his dick, just <laughs> slobber. And I'm like, Jeez. he's just a guy. He's just an actor guy who likes the Warhammer. Come on now, like he's relax. He's a great actor though. Yeah, he's decent. He's decent. I don't think he's like the best. He's all right. He plays his roles fine. I, he was, I got he was really though. good in that Mission Impossible movie. Oh yeah, he was in Mission Impossible. He was, yeah, that's right. He was the okay. But uh, uh, number one guest I'd want to bring on the show, but could probably never get uh, WWE wrestler Shayna Baszler. Uh, she is a big Warhammer fan. Her color scheme and her ring attire is actually Warhammer based. I think it's the Iron Hands. Uh, she's even got like a fist with the with the the whole thing on it. Damn, um, she's fucking jacked. Holy shit! She is a may. I love her. She is great. Uh, she posted a video where she got like that special box edition of Dark Tide too, and I'm just like, she's a big Warhammer fan. Maybe maybe she's heard of us, and I'm like, no, there's no way. But yeah, she's I, great. I, she's, oh, I love Shayna Baszler. Was unaware of that. Mm-hmm. Um, hmm. I would like to get Aaron Dembski Bowden on the show. <laughs> what a surprise. I, well, wait, I'd like wait to get... we could... I bet we could probably get him, though. We we might be able to. I, I guess the question is, who do you think you'll never get? Yeah. Which is a bit of a, which, which is a, bit of a difficult thing to state because it's like that's true yeah you know it's like i gotta figure out someone who who's just like a straight up zero like not gonna happen but yeah i don't know i i would like i'd like some of the the higher ups in terms of um authors or artists perchance uh i'd like <laughs> guys like joe biden i want goddamn obama on our show god yeah all right? yeah i, I, I want to chat i want to chat with him and i want to talk about how how what went into the bin laden killing and and mm. how did you plan it using Warhammer miniatures? Did you have your squad of guardsmen? <laughs> and it's oh like, God. all right, gonna roll a six to advance into the building. 
<laughs> yeah, that's that's how he was giving orders uh, to SEAL Team Six. Is with uh, they were playing a game of Warhammer, and yeah, mm -hmm. he, right. he took two Damn. space marines, and he was like, psh, 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 psh. <laughs> <laughs> "I've got you, Bin Laden." <laughs> Yep. What's that? Wow. What's, the, what's that part in, 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 is it Spaceballs when he has like the two dolls? And he's, <laughs> and, uh, and he's like, he's playing with them and then someone walks in the door. He's like, are you, I know, sir. I did not see you playing with your dolls again. Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> oh uh, my God. I haven't seen Spaceballs in so long. Come on. It's, it's still excellent. It's but yeah, I probably, I probably do something like that, you know, or, or okay. maybe I get, I ask like Duncan Rhodes or someone to hop on. That'd be pretty fun. Oh, two thin coats. Let's go. Yeah. You know, he's, I mean, he he's, he's not someone like thousand suns. Hey, let's go. He taught me how to paint, um, something. Yeah. He's taught it. I, I feel like at some point or another, everyone in the hobby has looked up a Duncan Rhodes video to help them figure out how to paint their favorite faction. I would agree. Mm. Well done, Duncan. Well done. Anyway, well, Duncan. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> I wonder if my air horn button works. I can't hear it. All right. Well, I pressed it. We'll see if it. We'll see if it goes in the uh, in the video. Nice. Any, Should I any, put an air horn in there if it didn't work? Yeah. Well. Yeah. Just just hit it up. Yeah. Anyway. Um. Yeah. That's. Uh. I. I think that's all of our questions. That's all, folks. It was uh, it was a pleasure. Another two or a, a full two years. Uh, cheers to a third coming yeah. up soon. Here's to many uh, more. Here's to many, many more. Where that will become, how that will arrive, I do not know, but we will get there one day. Mm -hmm. I'd like to have Jennifer Hale on the on the podcast. Oh, a little more Mass Effect. Let's go. I think she could do a really good Warhammer voice. I don't think she's gotten oh, the I opportunity agree. yet. Because oh, like, like I, think I, she I could would see be able her to do it amazing, yeah. Like a sister or something. I was thinking that like the judge character the judge zealot in uh, Dark Tide mm -hmm. is like the Emperor demands you die. That one. Oh yeah, yeah, that'd be great. Be mm, pretty neat. That's, that's a solid idea. You got some good ideas there, Brick. That I big mean, forehead I was, of yours has more than just rocks in it. Well done. I wasn't the one who started this podcast, but I sure was one who had, who helped push it <laughs> with my That's horrible true. ideas. I mean, considering where we are now from where we started, I'd say yeah, maybe not so horrible. Now, now, DK, don't talk down on yourself. You did all the good ideas, too. Yep, I sure did. You see, viewers, it's funny because DK doesn't make decisions. None. I just show up and have a ball. This is a dream gig. This is, this is I could not be happier. I enjoy I enjoy the the variations. For example, maybe some of you saw on Twitter, uh, excellent artist football head made a, a background image of the three of us. <laughs> yeah. Um if uh, <laughs> and I think it, it's a pretty decent representation of the three of us. You have I'm always just a bit normal, attentive sometimes, well, besides the forehead, but like, I'm just mm -hmm. like attentive. I'm just me, you know, nothing too crazy. <laughs> and you're always either depicted as a uh, crazy, loud, yelly, or like little kids sent to the fucking ice cream truck. <laughs> yeah, that's that's fair. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a fair depiction. I cannot uh, argue with said depiction. And then Shy is naturally one of two stages, either flaming rage or absolute <laughs> contempt. <laughs> or absolute worry and just like yeah mm -hmm. or that sounds fear. about right yeah I think it is accurate uh, accurate portrayal it is certainly an interesting idea <laughs> all right everybody uh, to another year thank you very very much uh, and we will see you in our next episode it's gonna be pink 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 oh